Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. In 1980, the U.S. boycotted the Summer Olympics in Moscow, more generally in response to Soviet Union human rights violations, but more specifically and immediately due to 1979's Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. The U.S. decision was made by President Jimmy Carter, not by Congress. Yet Congress still overwhelmingly passed non-binding resolutions approving the decision by 386 to 12 in the House and by 88 to 4 in the Senate. Well, next year's 2022 Winter Olympics are slated to take place in China. With similar boycotts, with similar calls for a boycott of those games due to China's human rights record, could even a non-binding congressional resolution help make that happen? Florida Republican Representative Michael Waltz has introduced a congressional resolution calling for exactly that. Now, supporters argue that China's acts of genocide against the Uyghurs, crackdown on democratic rights in Hong Kong, and suppression of information about the COVID-19 outbreak in Wuhan make the country unworthy of being honored and revered by billions of people on the world stage in such a public forum. But opponents counter that even if you're opposed to China and all of those abuses of human rights that I just mentioned, the right move is not a boycott, but for U.S. athletes to compete there and beat them on their home turf. It's happened before. At the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, the U.S. won more medals than China did, 110 to 100. Well, here's my idea. How about we hold the Winter Olympics in the only country on Earth with both an appropriate climate for the Games and an unblemished human rights record? Antarctica. And thanks to global warming, soon enough we might be able to host the Summer Olympics there too.